All right, guys, so if you've been following our uh, Dirt Circle Track truck build, our, our Dirt Oval build, whatever you want to call it, our uh, our truck. So if you're following our build, you know that we blew up the truck a, uh, a while back. And because of that truck blowing, I'll just go over here and show you. It's sitting right here, guys. What happened? Piston 4 happened. Ejecto pistono. It didn't eject the piston, but it definitely destroyed that that piston rod and that cap. Um, I haven't gone all the way through that yet. I'm still pretty sure that it that one of the bolts came off of the cap and it just allowed everything else to grenade. But <laughs> we did a junkyard engine build, a junkyard to racetrack engine build. Check out that video as well. Cool video. Um, I just briefly go over um, tearing down and stripping down a junkyard engine to bare block, putting our old heads and everything on. That way we could build this dude. You can't see that. This dude. This good looking gold and silver engine. I don't have the fan on the front or water pump pulley or anything like that yet. But this dude. And then we ran into a bunch of issues, guys. When I say a bunch of issues, I mean five starters. Five of them, and I'm not kidding. So the starter that was originally on this truck, they we thought was going out anyways. The guy who used to race this truck originally, he said it was having a cranking issue. When I raced it, I noticed the same thing, okay? It was almost like the battery was dying. If I had to guess, I would have said the battery was dying. I'm pretty sure the starter was going out. On top of having added resistance to the engine, or that added resistance caused the starter to go out, I don't want to guess which way it goes, right? So, we build a new engine. We throw that starter in there, not thinking about it. Nothing. So I start chasing issues. Buttons, wirings, all sorts of stuff, right? Because I didn't build this truck initially. It's old, so let's start combing through stuff. I finally get down to the starter, take the starter off, bench test the starter, nothing. So I order one. It took me a little bit to get one in because I ordered one off Amazon. They canceled my order for no reason, just that it, they canceled it, so I didn't. it didn't show up. And uh, so then I had to order another one off of O'Reilly. It shows up, well, after they cancel it, the guy who owns this truck um, that we're buying it off of, he messages me and says, well, calls me and says, I think I have a starter on the shelf. Let me, let's try this, right? It's the wrong starter. It goes to a different block. It has different wiring. It's just the wrong starter. So I order one from O'Reilly. We're like like weeks in at this point. Order one from O'Reilly. It shows up. I bring it home. Bench test it. Nothing. So they order me another one. It takes a few days to get in. I have them test it in the store. And the guy goes, well, it's making a little funny noise. But he asks his manager, who says, it'll be fine. It's supposed to make that noise, right? So... Slap it in the truck, it cranks once. I go over and just prop the throttle to give it a little gas before I crank it up, and then it doesn't work. So of course, I assume at this point that there's something else wrong. I assume at this point that it has to be the wiring, it has to be something else, because there's no way that they just tested this starter and now it's not working. So I lose my mind, guys. I lose my mind for literally another week, two weeks, something like that, testing every single component. I tested the battery, I swapped out batteries, I tested the wires. I was taking wires off, testing individual wires to try to find resistance. I ordered a wire, I got wire in, I started running new grounds, I start, was looking, I was like, I must, I need to order more wire because I need to run a another positive and finally I decide in all of my craziness that I'm going to with the starter sitting up on the on the, the cowl up here run my positive up from my my setup um, clamp a ground straight to the battery test it nothing happens I then take it to a separate battery test it and it's nothing happens I can hear it cranking it's rotating it's real slow so I decide you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go take it back to O'Reilly it was right up the road and have them test the damn thing, right? Just to see. But I haven't tested the damn thing. And sure enough, it fails the test, guys. It fails the test. So, you order me a new starter, again, comes in. I have them test it. I come home, and I hook it back up, and I hook everything up, and I make sure I have redundant grounds, and I make sure I have a good positive, and all of this stuff, and the engine cranks. Well, the engine cranked, but my battery was low. So I went through and threw the battery on the charger. I, uh, I I hooked everything up, threw the battery on the charger, and 
it fired. Now I want to remind you guys that this is the first fire of the truck. It's not tuned, it's not timed, nothing. But it fired. It doesn't sound like a big deal and you think it's not, but I'm talking weeks of me combing through wiring and losing my mind. Like if I This is just the stuff that I left outside because I was genuinely losing my mind. But you can see it's just, it, it's wiring stuff. And st there's a starter sitting there. And just wiring. And there's wires going up here. And DVOMs. I have three DVOMs out to make sure my DVOM wasn't messed up. And a battery charger and an extra battery and jumper cables. And down here I have all the wiring pulled out. And I was genuinely losing my shit. But, but, for the first time ever... So this is going to fire. I will add that it's going to smoke a little bit because it's just freshly painted parts. Um, I expect that exhaust paint, what I painted the exhaust with, wasn't exhaust paint, just paint. I expect that's going to bake off and it's going to smoke a little bit, but let's take the wind where we can get the wind, guys. Now again, a lot of that smoke's just coming off these these headers. That you can see it. I mean, it's just rolling off the heads or the headers because uh, they're painted. It's expected, and you've seen the, the blowback. I mean, I have to put it in time, but but for me at least, that's exciting. I chased issues for weeks, and the truck finally fired up. We have a back-to-back -back race on the 28th and 29th of this month, so in two weeks. So that gives me plenty of time to to drain and refill the transmission and the rear end and um, comb through the brakes and in the alignment and everything else that I feel like I need to comb through that was never done on this truck. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. And apparently I need to run it a few times to let this uh, these headers smoke off because you can see every time I start it, they just smoke off and you can just smell the paint. So that needs to happen too. Oh, fun fact, I'm missing a bolt right there, see it? Right there. Yeah, I'm missing a bolt. Forgot about that. It's because you see this bolt over here, it's smaller. Well, they only had uh, six, six of these bolts at, at Lowe's when I went. So I put sealant on there, I put them all on, I figured that bolt there, it bolted, these two bolts here were the best bet for, you know, I had one, put it in, and if I didn't have one, that would, would do for now. So I need to go pick up another bolt completely forgot until now so I'm excited guys uh, that's it that's it first fire up of the truck I have, it's exciting I got a lot of timing and stuff to do it's, it's obviously the middle of the night so I don't want to do a bunch of that right now my neighbors might hate me I mean I live in the country it's a distance to the neighbor's house but you still don't want to be that neighbor right I hear propping a race car in the middle of the night so I'm gonna start getting this all this junk I have on the ground picked up all this junk I have up here just tools hanging and wiring hanging picked up but ultimately we win <sighs> I was stressed guys so we're building cool things tag me in HC racing Art cruise racing hashtag HC racing tag me in it I want to see you guys the cool stuff Especially if you're building race trucks, guys. As you know, this is our oval truck. This is our oval truck. We also have a stage rally ranger we're building in the back. That one's got a 3.0 in it. This one's got the 2.3 in it. Um, if you're building cool things, let me know. Get out there, have fun. Build whatever you want because you want to and for no other reason. And most importantly, make sure that you have a good day.